What's up lads and welcome back to another DayZ video. It's Mighty Triceps here and this one's a little bit different to the usual release but it's definitely worth a shout out. The base building plus mod has just released a new update BBP 2.0 and there's been some huge changes players need to know about and in this guide I'm going to cover exactly the ins and the outs of the changes and eventually how you can build something right here. A little house which its roof has just despawned. So let's get straight into the video. Let's cover the 15 new building parts. So the first one being the normal wooden doors. We have the new slanted walls. Then we have the hangar doors. These are great for your helicopters, your vehicles that you're parking in a hangar as they open upwards left and right side. So that's great for any sorts of large builds that you're looking to do. We also have a roof, so an actual roof for a house. Um, it's great from an aesthetic point of view just because it looks nicer than a normal flat roof. Then we have the new triangles, floors and roof size, and the floor hatches and the roof hatches. These are still pretty similar to the old BBP mod, but the only difference really is the stairs. We also have the new foundation kits. These are looking much greater, much better textures, and they're a little blockier. Now we have the large gates, so it's much different to what you'd normally see, but they actually have two super large gates that open left and right so if you're looking to create a super big garage get your cars in here lots of room to do that much nicer much cleaner graphics look great and it blends well into the environment next we have the window kits so we have the large windows right here we open them up and then we actually have the small windows next to it so these are actually really cool. So what, what we've seen is that the BBP mod developer has shrunk some of the window sizes. They've changed the actual texture of the window when you open it, so it's a little block now. And this one's like a little arrow slit. Great for some peaks in your base if you want to make that. Now we have the small pillar and the large pillar. Someone just shot an RPG. <laughs> um, we also have the large stairs. Yeah, so it's a little bit different to the original stairs. They're kind of at a right angle now, as you can see. The colors changed. We also have a little tiny small staircase. Jump up on here. It's basically a smaller version, just the top part of that staircase. That's the stairs. Next, we have the large ramps. So this is a much better improvement compared to the previous ramps. They actually take up a full height of a wall, a full length of a floor, and you can definitely fit your vehicles up here to match the large gates as part of a garage. Definitely a cool texture. You can actually full send a vehicle straight off the ramp as well. Next we have the floor kits. So we have a large floor kit and a small floor kit. The large one being the bigger one and the small one being a little tiny cube like that. Uh, not sure much use for it, but it does look kind of cute. It's the same for the roof kits, just opposite side and above you. Now we're on to the crafting workbench, so how do you make this? First you need this yellow construction permit, it's normally called something like BBP construction permit. Combine that with 20 planks, and then that gives yourself a kit. This is the workbench kit that you actually be able to place anywhere on the map, as long as you're able to do it. And it puts it down just like this, and there you have a crafting workbench. Now how do you actually start building the kits? Well, we need a few items, so first you need the workbench, you need a BBP tape measure, looks like that, and you need a BBP crafting book, looks like that. Once you do that, you press F to go into the crafting station, so looking at all the kits. Most of the kits in here will cost five planks and five nails, excluding the stepladder. And you'll also need a handsaw to make these kits. So if we add planks and we add nails, we can actually go through an example, press F, get a wall kit, generate that, we have ourselves a kit. It costs us five nails, five planks. We can place it wherever we want. So now that we have our kits, what's changed with the BBP UI? Well, there's a couple things. So we have in the top right hand side of the screen the BBP keybinds. These are instructions, and we'll go through them real shortly. But there's only a few you really need to be keeping a close eye on, really. And that's kind of the snapping, the rotation using your wheel. It's all changed now. You're not you're not pressing B anymore and using the menu. You're now using these hotkeys in the top right hand side. It's kind of self-intuitive, so we'll walk you straight through it. So if we're placing a floor kit on the floor, that's it right here. You don't need to do any snapping. You can just free place it, place it down, 
and that's it right there. So frames now are they actually cost a little bit different. So frames cost 10 planks. So we put 10 planks in here, and they also cost 10 nails. So we put 70 in there. And if we full build this, hello there. If we full build this, then you'll see the plank should go, but the nails are down to 60. So that's 10 planks, 10 nails to build a frame. Now to build the full part, we're going to need logs. So for the in the case of the floor, we're actually going to need we won't need logs. We'll need 20 planks and 20 nails. So we remove the log, place that, build that out, and we have our foundations of the base. So we'll take those materials out, save them for later. Now this is how you're going to start using your snapping screen. So if we then go back to the UI, so put a wall kit in your hand. To use the snapping, you actually have to look at the BBP item. So you see on the screen there in the middle it says large floor. You want that BBP item to show when you're building. So once you see that, you click, click, left click. Now we know it's not snapping because we're scrolling our mouse wheel right now and nothing's popping up. So what we want to do is click the down key, down key is pressed and now we should be able to click again and we can scroll through where we want the BBP item to snap. You can see straight away it shows you which side is facing inside and which side should be facing outside. Green is in so we'll place that down and now we have our first wooden wall blueprint. So for the wooden wall blueprints similar story we need first the frame before we can build anything so that's 10 planks and 10 nails. Build that frame up and to build the full thing we're going to need to keep these nails in and it's going to cost us a big four logs to build walls now. This is a lot different to what it costed in the old BBP. Now it's purely using logs for walls so keep that in mind you're going to be chopping a lot of trees down. So it's going to be 16 nails, four logs. I'm going to put in the description of the video a full recipe list on what you need to do to make any, any sort of kit and full build them. So if we full build this now we should have the final large wall built as part of the base and there we have it so it's cost us 16 nails and 4 logs plus the fully built frame to make this wall right here and if we do this for the rest of them so we look at the floor to snap left click down key have a scroll left click again if it's not showing and there we have it and then once it's on the right spot you want to hold down left key to place it down and there we have it I'm going to use the admin hatchet to build these up because you already know the costs and we're just going to start off with these wall kits so again left click down arrow scroll around hold to place that's it this is the admin hatchet, you guys won't be using this, you guys will be using a normal hatchet with the actual recipes. So back at the door, so what we want to do now is start placing this door kit, very similar to the walls, we want to look at the floor, left click, down arrow, luckily it's actually placed it for us here, so if, you, if it disappears just make sure you're looking at the floor or else it doesn't know where to snap to, and then scroll around if you can't find the snapping location properly, hold left click, and then you'll be able to place the door. So this time round for actually the, the door kit itself and the door frame sorry it's going to cost us 10 nail, ten planks and 16 nails this time. So not 10 nails and 10 planks like the floors, the roofs and the walls. It's going to cost 16 nails and 10 planks for the door frame. So that's it right there. So now again similar to before we're going to have to put four logs in for the wall of the door and then we're also going to have to have nails in there as well which will cost 16 nails so first we're going to build a door this will be this will just build the center piece make sure you want to full build stuff so that people don't crawl into your bases this costs two logs and 20 nails just for the door and if we want to build a log wall it should use up the rest Go into here. 
that's it it's used 16 nails four logs in total and 10 planks there we have our door and now we have a little one by one base and this is basically all you need to know really in setting up a little base in DayZ obviously you can start expanding out we can place our roof kit onto it properly so right now we don't actually have a roof so if we actually want to place our roof kit down what we want to do is the same story look at any one of these BBP items so if we look at this wall here it should say large wall in the middle of our screen there we want to click the down arrow for the snapping left click and we see the green inside icon here once you see this green inside icon you want to hold left click and that's how you build it so now we have the blueprint it's going to cost a similar amount of materials so what you're going to have to do is get the materials in your hand attach it to the large roof so we've got 20 planks there we're going to have to attach a bunch of logs to it so I'm just going to put two in attach 99 nails just for the hell of it build the large frame so I won't be able to show you the actual materials inside but I'll list a full a full recipe guide in the description below once it's complete and here we have a little roofed off one by one base this is the new BBP 2.0 there's a couple of more things I'd like to show you, such as the new tier 2 and tier 3 kits. That's going to be a nice, interesting showcase right here. So, now one of the final things I kind of wanted to cover in this video was in the actual kits themselves, we no longer have the option to build tier 2 and tier 3 kits. And that's because in this new mod, everything is based on the original kits so you actually start upgrading these wooden walls or wooden doors or wooden roofs and floors into metal and concrete so if we want to build a large door and we actually want to fit inside the large door a metal door and a metal frame we're going to need a total of 16 sheet metal and 50 nails so we put 20 sheet metal in there and we'll put 54 nails in there then we can actually start upgrading this so you see here build tier 2 t3 reinforced door in this case we want to scroll down and put build tier 2 sheet metal this should start help building us up a metal door so if we look on the outside there we have it the walls look completely different to what it was originally from the wood. And that's used a total of six sheet metal so far and a total of 20 nails for that one. So the next part is we want the reinforced tier 2 door itself. So if we start building that, build tier 2, tier, th tier 3 door. This will start building that metal door in the middle and you can see straight away the door colour has changed, the texture has changed and it now matches and it looks like a much more secure base. Now on most servers this will mean that it costs more to raid so instead of one C4 it will now cost two C4 or a heavy breach and charge to raid it. So if you wanted to start upgrading everything else, normally on most servers you don't really need to upgrade the walls unless there's wall raiding, but I'll show you just in case. If you want to add the sheet metal into the walls, make sure it's the large wall in the vicinity, add your nails, it's the same thing, build tier 2 wall, start chopping at this. And then what we can see here from the outside is, well let's look at the it's used 6 sheet metal and it's used 20 nails. And on the outside, we have a full metal wall. Now, you might say, oh, so how do we now start making concrete walls and concrete doors? Well, this is the next step. So instead of having to build a tier 3 kit, we do the same thing again, but instead of adding sheet metal, we're adding concrete to the vicinity. We're now looking to build 
a tier 3 kit and as in this example how you do that is first you actually just want to build the frame itself so in most cases all we're going to need is planks and nails and in this case it, because we're using a gate we're going to have to add all the logs in as well so once we have the frame we don't want to build tier 1 material door or tier 2 we actually want to build tier 3 and that's when we need to start using concrete so we're going to pick up some concrete mortar mix nails going to take the logs as well going to go to this vicinity add the mortar add the concrete now to build tier 3 you actually need to use the shovel now the shovel is the only way to build tier 3 gates, doors, walls, whatever but once you have the frame you're going to have to use a shovel instead of a hatchet here and make sure you have the mortar you got the concrete and you got the nails inside the gate you're going to hold left click starts building the gate and this should now give you a tier 3 material building rather than a tier 2 or a tier 1 and as you can see it looks kind of snazzy tier 3 looks kind of sexy now we have that's how you build the tier 3 stuff that's the same for the walls so instead of building the full wall you just build the frame put the concrete put the mortar in use a shovel and you'll be able to build tier 3 walls or tier 3 doors or windows or whatever you like thanks for watching thanks for watching the bbp 2.0 guide everyone if you're interested in more base building guides hit that subscribe button if not make sure to watch our previous video which is a big raid on a massive cartel. I'd like to thank the Rearm servers for letting me use their test server. If you're interested in base building and you want to get your hands on this base building 2.0, link in the description to the Rearm Discord where you can find all the servers to join.